Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be coding a bubble sort algorithm. I hope you guys code with me as I go through it. I find this quite fun and I hope you will. I put a lot of effort into my videos and I put a lot of time into it. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this with your family and friends so they can learn how to code in a simple way. Okay, let's get on to the video. So what is a bubble sort algorithm? Bubble sort algorithms sort a list of jumbled numbers into ascending order. The code goes one by one through the numbered list and it compares them if which one's smaller than another. It then shuffles their places to make the list go from smallest to largest. Bubble sort algorithms can be used for endless amount of numbers and it will still be able to sort them into order. I'm using Python 3 and I'm just using Trinket and I'm going to start the code by defining a function. I'm going to just write define bubble underscore sort and I'm going to make the input function numList which is short for number list but you can call it whatever you want. Now we're going to create an indexing length and that is a position in an ordered list. So I'm just going to write indexing length. The indexing length is equal to the length of the list minus one. So and I'm writing minus one because the code will not be able to shuffle two numbers when it gets to the last number because there isn't any number after that. I'm going to write indexing length equals the length of numList minus one. And now we're going to make a local variable. So I'm going to write sorted equals false. So this variable will break us out of the loop when the list is sorted. And a local variable is a variable which only refers and applies to a certain block of code and in our case that would be the while loop. Okay now I'm going to make the while loop. We can't write a range because we don't know how many iterations it's going to take to finish sorting the list so we're going to write while not sorted and now I'm going to write sorted equals true. So this line will tell the computer to basically just skip the loop if it is sorted. Okay, the next line of code is a for loop. And in simple terms, it's saying for each index number, for each index going from zero through the indexing length, apply the code inside the loop. So I'm just gonna write for i in range zero to indexing length, like that. So like I said, it's just going to go, so for each index, like each number, in the range of 0 to the final number, you do the code. And by the way, i is a temporary variable, which is to store an integer value of the current position in the range of the loop, so that it only has a scope within its for loop. You can use any other variable name in places of i, such as count or x or number. Now we're going to write if numList and then i and then a greater than sign. So this is the integer on the right position and if it is larger than num, numList of i plus 1, this means that the list is still unordered. So we need to go back to our local variable that is false because it's saying that the first number, the number on the left is bigger than the number on the right and it's supposed to go from smallest to largest, which shows that it's wrong. So we're gonna write here, sorted equals false. Now the, this code will tell the algorithm that if the right value is larger than the left position it's false so it's gonna need to flip the two values so i plus one is larger than i so to make the code true we're gonna have to flip those two values like i said before here we're gonna need to write numlist i comma numlist i plus one and then switch them around so we get equals and then write the exact same thing. So I'm just going to copy and paste it to make it quicker. 
Now this just is going to switch them. So I put this value on the left side this time and just swap them around. Once the list is sorted, the loop variable will not run. So therefore it will make our local variable true and it will break out of the while loop. Okay, now to end the code, I'm going to return our sorted list into the code. So I'm going to write return num list. And finally, we just need to print it out. So I'm just going to write print bubble sort. I'm just going to write loads of random numbers. 3, 1, 4, 2, 5. So when we press run, it should, we should see the number should be listed in ascending order. Oh, I forgot to just indent this. And now it prints out an ordered list. So you now have now created your own bubble sort algorithm. That's going to be the end of the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video. Also, if you have any questions about the algorithm, you can just write them down below in the comments section. And for any suggestions, you can also put them down in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe. And now when we press run, we should see that our numbers should be in a <laughs> And now when we click run, we should see that... <laughs>